हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार फाउंडर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यूर न्यू ईयर थैंक यू हाउ डज द एक्स पाथ वर्क्स अ लॉट मैनी टाइम्स दिस क्वेश्चन बीइंग आस्ड इन इंटरव्यू एंड इन फैक्ट लाइक व्हेन वी आर वर्किंग ऑन यूआई ऑटोमेशन वेब ऑटोमेशन इट इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड वेन यू आर राइटिंग द एक्स पाथ हाउ दिस इज लाइक हाउ यू आर राइटिंग एंड हाउ इट इज वर्किंग सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट because generally we all start writing the x path let's say double forward slash tag name at the rate attribute name is equal to attribute value but actually what's happening behind the scene and how it is giving you the one matching node or more than one matching node so let's see this so for an example let's say here for this user email field this one we have to write the x path so here we can open select the cell by default i have kept it in editor mode like you can just turn on or turn off this one okay so for a second let's keep it off here suppose we want to write x path for this field so how we write like we start typing double forward slash supply bracket at the rate like let's say for an example if we take it id is equal to at the rate id is equal to this okay so it is giving one matching node find find but you see that how we got this one element matching but if you, if you recall this where first we wrote this one and it was 31 matching node right so and then we wrote this and it was one element matching so how this happened X path is basically, I mean, it's very, very obvious, and uh, we all know that X path is basically XML query language. So it's a kind of like query we are writing whenever we are writing an X path. It's a query. It's a formula. It's a query in which we used to keep adding the conditions. So this X path is basically a combination of conditions. <coughs> What does that mean? So very first thing when you write, how we write xpath? Double forward slash tag name, right? Double forward slash and then tag name this is. So this we are telling our uh, system that get us all the inputs in this page. So <clears throat> double forward slash is basically like how the xpath starts. Basically like from start in the DOM start from the top. And when you use double forward slash, so it goes from top to bottom, not just like one by one. If we write single forward slash, then it will like one by one, one step at a time. So double forward slash tag name, this is basically one condition which is, uh, which is telling the DOM that get us fetch all the tag name, like this tag name from this DOM. So it is fetching all the tag name. So how many? 31 good now we we will add one more condition so if you see that this is another condition here like this whole you might have thought like this is just one condition no here this is these are two conditions here one is in id another is user this value so in the first condition what we are telling like let me remove this and now hit enter we are telling our query that get all the input which has this attribute id so now out of like uh, i guess 31 input was there 31 input we are telling our query that get all the input which has the id attribute first it was giving all the input so those were there are 30 input right there are 30 input now we will add one more condition which is at the rate id now we are telling that get all the input which has id attribute so hit enter now 11 so it has removed those inputs which were not having the id attribute so this is another condition we have added now we want only those input which has id attribute as well as one more condition that id should be is equal to user id so that we will add now
and that's where we are getting the one input matching element so here this is one condition that get us uh, element with this tag name another is that get us the element which has id attribute and then we are telling the that get us all the uh, like only those input which has id attribute and the value is equal to user id so this is how we got this one element matching x path similarly like it could be any other condition <coughs> like let's say at the rate name is equal to this so suppose we want first all the input which has name attribute there are 17 input which has the name attribute the second condition we can add it here like name is equal to email there is only one you can add more condition on your uh, x path like you can add end condition you can add or condition so likewise you can add any as many add as conditions you want like at the rate id is equal to get us only those uh, <coughs> those input which has name is equal to email and at the rate id is equal to let's say user id what was the this one i is capital so let's make i is capital and hit enter so you can add as many condition as you want so this is basically we are writing a combinations of conditions to build our x path many a times it happened that in good interviews people ask to explain how your x path is working why you have added this why you have added this why you are adding this like for an example let's say <clears throat> and it is also very helpful to understand this how this is working because when you are doing the uh, testing like manual testing so in browser without writing the code you are just wanted to quickly uh, play around with your application and wanted to check like how many ids are there how many classes are there in that case also this is very helpful like let's say here we have written this x path okay now if i remove this value this is 11 elements matching but this is telling us there are 11 input tag which has the id suppose irrespective of input tag we want to know how many elements are there which has the id so in that case you can write double forward slash star at the rate id now it will tell us all the elements in this page which has the id attribute and it will list all of them here you can see all these has the id attribute like suppose we want to get to know how many elements in this page which has the name attribute there are 33 element in this page which has the name attribute so this way you can uh, get these things and it is very helpful to understand such concepts so i hope now you got it like how your xpath works when you are writing the xpath query how that used to uh, like work in the background and what is the meaning of this is so these all are like basically three conditions written in this xpath so you can explain this way in your interview like whenever they ask how this is working why you have written this what is the use of this what is the use of this so likewise i hope you like this concept please give a thumbs up and if you are new here please do subscribe to the channel for more such concepts related to xpath selector selector sub dom iframe etc thank you